Hey, it's Greg Luther, and thanks so much for joining us here today. I'm actually excited. We've got here on set with us Anna Picanso Linehan, who's from the North Boston area, a real estate agent who's been selling real estate for quite a while and doing extremely well out there as well. So thanks for joining us today. Thank you, Greg. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about yourself, um, uh, the real estate market you're involved in. I know you work with sellers, buyers, investors, uh, and looking at some of the stats here, you've done extremely well. You've got home selling for more than the area average. Talk to us a little bit about how you look at real estate and some of the things that you do. That's right, Greg. I do tend to sell homes for higher than the norm. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because of what um, we do for marketing. We tend to do more than what we call um, the three P's, which is what most a lot of realtors do out there, mm -hmm. um, which is place it on the MLS, put a sign on the yard and pray that somebody else brings them a buyer, yeah. right? Yeah. So when I actually um, started, soon after I started, I did pretty well in my first couple of years. I ended up being the top 10, awarded to be in the top 10% of realtors. And people okay. were asking me how I did that. And um, it was really because of direct marketing and target marketing. Okay. So. Tell us a little bit about that. So what makes that different from putting a sign in the yard? I, I guess most people would think if they're selling their home, you just call a realtor and they'll list it on the MLS, which probably goes to all the websites, and you kind of wait. Um, tell me what you're doing that's different and what is target marketing? So target marketing is much different than what most realtors do or real estate agents do. And the reason for that is that we go out, we find the buyers, for, that are looking for specific criteria, and then we bring those buyers to the sellers that you know are a match. So I consider myself a matchmaker okay. in the real estate, and honestly, I think that's what most real estate agents are and should do: is finding the right property um, and the right buyer and combining and. Where so it essentially, a yeah. So, like, if it's a certain school district, a, a really good school district, good chance the taxes are a little higher there. So, it's probably going to be a family that has children that would love to have that good school district. Or um, if it's a fenced yard, maybe they have pets. Um, getting into the luxury market, you know, if it has a walk-in wine cellar, it's probably going to go to a wine connoisseur, right? So, are you able to get a list of those people to market to, or are you just hoping they randomly find the house online? Tell me a little bit about how you're talking targeting them. Exactly. That's a great question. So yes, um, any of those specific item things that people are looking for, criteria, mm -hmm. we're able to find the lists. There are lists out there that we go specifically and look for and find the perfect match. Um, a lot of times it's based on the interest that they might have. If they're boaters, we might go to a boater, boaters club mm -hmm. and a list of those people and what are they, you know, what are they looking for. Um, that type of thing. Okay, and then when you get that list, how are you exposing the property? Let's say that I'm a homeowner, because I, I know we can see by stats that you're doing extremely well in selling the property. How are you then going after the buyers to let them know about my house? So are you doing like offline stuff, like mailers, or are you doing online on the internet, uh, Facebook and social media? Do you do anything with that? Tell us a little bit about that. So we actually have a dream um, finder program whereby we go out and we look for criteria, whether it's the buyer's criteria or the seller's criteria. Mm -hmm. And we use um, a bunch of different methods, whether it be direct mailing, um, certainly social media, that's huge these days, whether sure. it's Instagram, or social, uh, Facebook, marketing, um, LinkedIn, I mean, all of it. Yeah. So we, we use all of that to, to really go and find very targeted um, buyers and sellers that way. Yeah, and I'm sure um, the function of price in a real estate transaction, that's really kind of supply and demand. So I guess the more demand you could create for something, the more it's going to sell for. Is that right? Of course. Yeah. So of course, you, you've got um, uh, the average real estate agent. Let's say I have a brother in the business or my the guy that cuts my hair has a real estate license. Probably not going to do any of that target marketing. Is that right? Absolutely. So we run into that all the time. And I kind of compare it to... Um, if you were gonna go, if you, God forbid, had something wrong with you and you really needed um, a specialist in the mm -hmm. field, medically or whatever, who would you go to? Mm -hmm. Most likely the expert and not the doctor that's maybe practicing once or twice 
a year, right? So yeah. that's kind of the same thing in real estate. There are lots of people out there that are, you know, they might be part-time doing it part-time, as you said, it could be the um, plumber that's also selling real estate, yeah. but it's not necessarily always your best option. Okay, so your, choosing, an, there is a difference between real estate agents, what they do, the type of marketing they do, and ultimately, I guess, the results that they get, being able to sell your property for more money or selling at the average price range, that might make a difference of, I guess, in the Boston area, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 on a home sale. Absolutely, I mean, um, I have several examples. One that comes quickly comes to mind. Um, one of my clients, um, it was a listing mm -hmm. that was actually a referral, and directly across the street. So about a, a week before, um, for sale by owner, mm -hmm. sold it, and they thought they'd done wonderfully. You know, cash. Sometimes people get all wrapped up in cash, but yeah. sold it for four and a quarter. I went and did the comps on mine, which was very similar came around 550 or so to 575. Wow. Ended up selling it for 590 and 30,000 of it specifically. I can account to a little trick that I had that I introduced that got my sellers 30,000. So oh, that might, that's where experience comes right? in, right? Okay. Um, and that's, you know, part of I have some investment experience okay. um, and that that actually came in to play and, and worked out for my sellers. Yeah, so I, I know you work with sellers, with buyers, with investors, you work the luxury real estate market, kind of work the gamut with everything, right? I do. I love uh, working with first time home buyers because mm -hmm. they get so excited and just seeing them and being able to get them to realize their first real yeah. estate dream. They're, they're excited and nervous, they're, right? Exactly. Yeah. So you really have to work with them and yeah. um, put them at ease and, and walk them from basically A to Z and just kind of let them know what to expect and walk them through it sure. and get them to the closing table quickly. Okay, and tell me a little bit about the luxury market. Where does the luxury market start price range in your area um, and, and why do you like to work that market? The luxury market runs, it depends on where you are obviously. If mm -hmm. you're on waterfront, you know, um, one of the, la the latest ones that I did was like a 2.4 million. Um, we're in the process of a couple of million dollars. Um, okay. It depends how close you get to Boston or whether you're on the water. Yeah. Um, or whatnot. And that's important in choosing an agent. Have they done multi-million dollar deals before? You know, a lot of them have never done higher in price ranges, so you don't want to be the first one that they're doing surgery right. on. You want to have the professional surgeon that knows what they're doing, right? Agreed, for okay. sure. Yeah. So in the luxury price ranges, I like it because it's usually people who are rewarding themselves for working really hard and um, it's usually their trophy home or they're buying it as a gift for their spouse or loved ones so it's a lot of fun uh, to find that is usually for me what I found it's also can be people who are relocating so okay. um, they could be out of staters and a lot of times sometimes you can just be dealing with them over the internet and mm -hmm. you know you're doing a lot of the legwork so relocation that's actually, isn't easy that's for sure um, for those not easy but it. it can be exciting too yeah yeah very rewarding. good so so uh, you're definitely working all price ranges and very excited to see the results that you've been getting I think that's what most buyers or sellers are looking for you know if I'm selling my home I want to be able to sell it for a little more than I thought I could um, getting someone with experience makes all the difference in the world it can't be a rookie real estate agent that's you know just throwing it on the MLS and waiting on something to happen right absolutely so for me it's very important that I have an impact on my on my clients I have 20 plus years uh, in the corporate world of human mm -hmm. resources so I find that people is my it's sort of my um, expertise you know I'm yeah. not as we say we're not in the house business we're in the people business so I feel that that's I care about my clients and getting them ultimately what it is that they're looking for mm -hmm. whether it's on the buy side or, or the sell side is extremely important to me. And I think that shows um, based on the referrals that I get and reviews that I get. Very good, very good. Well, thanks so much for joining us here today. If you are thinking of buying or selling a home anywhere north of Boston, you definitely want to get with Anna and her team. Learn a little bit about how they can help you and maybe sell your home for more money uh, or find you the perfect dream home if you are looking to purchase. Thanks so much and we'll talk soon.